What's up everybody, it's Matt from Morning Hookah. I don't even know where to begin, I don't even know where to start. It's been a while, it's been a long time. I have had some ups, I've had some downs, I have some exciting news, I have some just really cool things that have been going on in my life. Uh, personally, professionally, hookah wise, there's a lot of things to go over. But before I touch on any of those things, Make sure you're following me over at Instagram, instagram.com slash morning hookah, because that's the place to go with the most up-to-date information. And there's some really cool things that are both going to be announced soon after this video, as well as um, just in general. There's, there's some cool stuff. But I also have to catch up a little bit on some things that I've been meaning to do for a while. I was sent some bowls from Cereal Products, Cereal Bowls, and... They are they were kind enough to send me uh, four of their bowls. We have a funnel style. We have the um, the Syrian eggy, um, you know, style killer style. Like lots of different variations. Kind of the deeper ones that you see used in a lot of um, I want to say like Russian tobaccos, the dark side and must have and that kind of like very very uh, you know fluffy pack style that you see uh, that, is, that has been taken over for many years. Obviously, this is a great bowl for that. It has a very wide brim as well, which is good for HMDs, good bowl for a lot of, uh, different variations for tobacco packing, as well as using stuff on top. I mainly use a provost foil, but if you want to throw on an HMD, this is a good bowl to do that with as well. And then a, a fourth bowl, which is another Egyptian style non funnel, right? Like I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Like what do you refer to bowls? Do you refer to it as funnel style, which I think everyone mainly does. I, I don't know of any other names off the top of my head that you would call the funnel style unless you have something else. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you call it. Maybe you call it a, I don't know, a, a one-eyed, maybe you call it a cyclops bowl. Let's call it that. From now on, these are not funnel bowls. These are cyclops bowls because it's one instead of two or five in the case of some Egyptians are four, depending on the style, but this is a Cyclops, okay? So no longer are we going to call this a funnel bowl. It's now going to be called a Cyclops bowl. So uh, yeah, this is the Cyclops style bowl that they sent me. I really enjoy it red like uh, Scott Summers blast from his uh, blasters, um, X-Men 97. Can we talk about that for a second? I'm just saying, I'm, I haven't seen it. So I want to talk about it, but I want to, I, I can't decide if I want to watch it or if I want to wait for it all to come out so I can binge it because that's kind of the personality traits that we've developed over the last few years with the ability to binge everything. Like I, I started watching Invincible and I loved it, four episodes in, but where's the rest of it? I wished I would have just waited so I could just blast through the whole thing. What are we talking about on today's episode? That's right, Ciro products, Ciro bowls. These are the bowls that they sent out to me. Really enjoyed them. This bowl has become even a travel bowl for me. I love how all these bowls are very thick. They, they have a really nice uh, weight to them. They have a really good sturdiness to them. I'm not afraid of them. There's plenty of bowls out there, even quality bowls from manufacturers that you all know and respect that can be a little bit worrisome to drop them or to even, you know, just, just, you know, I, the, the table's right below this. I'm sure you can hear it, but like even that would give you a little bit of a worry, just that tiny little drop, but like these very, it's good quality materials from what the best that I can tell. I am not a bowl manufacturer, so I'm not going to pretend like I am, but like I can tell the difference between crap product and I can tell the difference between good product and this is good product. My collection of bowls ranges from things overseas, domestic, specialty, boutique, expensive, cheap. It runs the gambit. There's nothing in my collection. Now there's lots of things I don't own, but there's nothing in a um, traditional sense of that I've experienced that I don't have. I, I have I have the top shelf bowls. I have the bottom shelf bowls. I still use some of my bottom shelf bowls. There's Egyptian bowls that I still use on a regular rotation because I like the way that they smoke for certain things that I use them for. These have also started to infiltrate my rotation for different types of tobacco. This bowl right here, I have used almost exclusively for my must-have. I really enjoy the, the light pack of must-have and this cereal bowl product. I'll have the name of the bowls as I pop it up, come across, because I'm terrible with names. I don't want to butcher anything. So I'll have them pop up. But yeah, this has become a must-have tobacco product for me. Really enjoy it. This is obviously something that I use for my Tangiers quite often. I know what you're thinking, my God, Matt, it's deep. You're wasting so much tobacco. 
I like to mix my tobaccos. Am I still using more than I have to use? Sure, let's go off in the comments and talk about the optimization of using 7.3 ounces or grams of tobacco and smoking for four hours. That's not who I am. I like to pack a bowl, smoke it, and enjoy it and relax because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to enjoy a bowl of tobacco and this bowl allows me to do that. So I quite like it. This bowl I've been using for Alf Fokker. In fact, AF, I recently got some new products from AF that I'm excited to be smoking and I'm gonna be loading some more up in this one right here as I've already done. Two Apple Peach AF, I'm telling you right now, it's called the cheat code. I came up with it. If you came up with it, then you came up with it. I don't care. I'm telling you to try it. If you haven't, give it a shot. I call it the cheat code. Two Apple Alfacher with a little bit of AF Peach. It's called the cheat code. It's fantastic. You're going to like it. Smoke it in this bowl, and it's going to do just as good as most other bowls. But this is a very high-quality bowl, too. And I really enjoy the Renaissance look to it as well. These bowls do not come across in the video as well as they do in person. It's to be expected, but they do have, they look fantastic. This one's more of a matte finish. This is not a heavy gloss finish where it's like nice and smooth. Just, yeah, fantastic. Big fan of this one for, um, I talked about my Tangiers, talked about my Must Have Bowl, talked about my AF Bowl. And then this one, um, I, I used it to test it, to, to try it out, obviously. But this one's a weird... Uh, mix between the deeper one, which I use for must have, as I said, and then this one, which I use for AF one. So this one, when I was testing it out, I used Azor in this one. I did both a mix of the gold and the black line. Um, big fan of pomegranate in the gold line. You can check out a review that I did for it, as well as Persian rose from the black line. Persian rose is pomegranate and rose as in a mixture. So I like to add just a little bit of that brightness that the gold line has into the Persian rose. And then I usually throw like a mint in there and stuff. But yeah, I've been doing that in this one. Big fan of it. All four bowls, they're all the same in terms of them being a bowl that will hold your tobacco and smoke it well. Fantastic jobs on them. Big fan of them. They do a good job on their products. They're not overly expensive. You can find them at many different manufacturers want to give a huge thank you for them to send them out to me and for me to test them out and try them. Um, I should, you know, I've, I've posted about them a few times, but I want to make sure to tell you guys here proper on the YouTube channel. But man, we've covered a lot of things. We covered X-Men 97. Uh, we covered Invincible. We covered these fantastic balls. Head on over to Instagram.com slash Morning Hookah. Follow me on Instagram. That's where you're going to find the most up-to-date news. I guess I'll go ahead and announce it here because I know this video will get less traction than the announcement when I post that on Instagram. I'm going to Germany, guys. I'm going to Shisha Messe. I am going to Germany for Shisha Messe. This year, April 28th to 29th, or 26th to 20th, I'm going to Germany. I'm going to be there at the end of the month in April for Shisha Messe. Um, all details are going to be announced very soon. I'm going to be at the Azor booth. Azor Tobacco is going to be at Shisha Messe, and I will be there in person, live, living in Germany. I'm so excited um, and I can't help but say thank you to so many people that have supported and followed and been there for such a long time uh, here on Morning Hookah, back when it was AM Hookah, back when it was just me before AM Hookah, before Morning Hookah, when I just went by my name, Matt Dezen on YouTube. Thank you for all the support. It's been a journey. I'm so happy to be in the place that I'm at currently. But yeah, there's been, oh boy, what a, what a fun time um, this year is already kicking off into. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. As always, once again, follow me over on Instagram.com slash Morning Hookah. And more up-to-date details will be posted over there. Thank you to Ciro Products for sending these bowls out to me. Love them. They're fantastic bowls. Would recommend going and checking them out. Find the, the so as you can see, <clears throat> I know it sounds like I'm ending and now I'm just restarting. Good job, Matt. You're doing a great job. It's, it's not like you're rusty at all. Look for the color combinations that you like. This is what I do when it comes to bowls. This is how I pick my new bowls. I think about, like, I have these um, beautiful bastard bowls, right? And I have, I have a few of those. I think I have three bastard bowls. The reason why I got them is in part because their color wave combinations are something different and unique compared to what I already have. I know they're good bowls. I know they're going to smoke well, but I picked them based on the fact that I wanted to add that color combination to my collection because it's something different than I already have. I do not have a bowl that looks like this bowl. 
this bowl's a good bowl and it smokes very well. I have over 50, 60 bowls. Like, did I need another bowl? No, but I want bowls that I can build in my collection that I enjoy looking at. Hookah, you're smoking it and you're staring at it. You might as well like what you're looking at. That's the way that I see it. These bowls are good, they're good quality, but they have some really unique looks to them. I love this milk and honey look. I know maybe it doesn't come across that much in the video, but like I call it milk and honey. It's, I, I really, I like it. Renaissance, this one has a really nice uh, Cyclops, right? Cyclops, beam rays, Scott Summer style. And then this is just a fun one as well. Like they have some really nice color combinations, really good finishes in their glazes. Really enjoy their work. And I'm happy to tell you guys about them. I don't know what else to say, so I'm gonna finally end this video so that you can get along and go part of your day. Follow me over on Instagram, share this video, drop a like, do all those things. It's 2024 and we're gonna have some fun times. Morning Hookah, Matt here, wishing you guys the absolute best. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.